Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. I'm an intuitive spiritual medium and mentor, and I'm here to give you your overarching energy check-in in this month of June, all right? So as I was tuning in, so uh, as I said, I'm an intuitive spiritual medium. I check it. I, I connect it with angels and the spiritual, my, my guides to deliver messages through my intuition for all of you, and then I will... I will check in with the cards to see, and, and the, the cards always reflect the energy that I'm picking up. I'm just, it's fun to look at the cards and, and all that. So um, as I was tuning in and as I'm tuning into the overarching energy of Pisces, don't forget this is not a one-to-one -one reading. This is a general collective message to so take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? So when I tune in with Piscean energy and they're giving me a, a deer, I'm seeing a deer, a very gentle, beautiful, sweet deer. And I feel when I connect in with this energy, I'm getting that you need to bring a gentle touch to yourself. I really feel strongly this could be also bringing a gentle touch to the people around you, to a situation that is difficult. But, but I really feel for many of you, this is a high percentage, it's you need to be more kind to yourself. So oftentimes, if we catch, if we catch our mind, like the way that we can talk to ourselves with our mind, we would never speak to anybody else like that. So you, this is your reminder from spirit to stop beating yourself up. Pay close attention to the voice in your head. And when, when there's negative self-talk creeping up, recognize it and tell it, tell it to get out. Tell it, you know, I could curse and say something else. But being aware of the voice in your head and changing that language is this message that I'm getting to be kinder to yourself, okay? So when you're used to beating yourself up for, you know, the epically wild mistakes that you might have made in the past, it's it's easy to stay there. It's easy to stay in the energy of of feeling like you're not worthy, you're not good enough, but spirit, and I'm here to validate for you that you are amazing. You are mystical and magical like this beautiful deer, and you're, and they want you to start being kinder to yourself. So watch your words, watch your thoughts. Every word has power. We feel everything in the body. So when we're speaking to ourselves in, in this way, and we're beating ourselves up, we actually can create dis-ease within our own bodies. We don't feel well. Like if you're saying to yourself, you're worthless, you're ugly, you're awful, it connects the vibration, the frequency holds in the body. The body knows everything and it carries in, it creates this energy of dis-ease within the body, okay? So very important message. And as you nurture yourself and you are kinder to yourself, it's also my feeling that you have the ability to lead but you need to nurture your own energy to get to that place where you can lead from a place of confidence, from a place of peace, from a place of God confidence, from, you know, the energy. Oh, there's, I just saw the butterfly there, transformation, transformation. So they want you to transform your thoughts, transform the way you're thinking. Okay. Be here now. Be present in the here and now. Let go of the past. Don't think about the future. Be here now with your thoughts. Being kind to yourself and shifting your own frequency. And as you do, you're going to be stepping into this pathway forward that helps you lead. It leads you in a new direction. And look, sweet results await as you do this beautiful work with yourself first. When we're in the energy of peace, when we're in the energy of clarity, and we're in the energy of love, love for ourselves, we signal the, the universe, we signal the future in this way, and we create, all, we create these amazing things for ourselves. We've gotta be in the energy of that peaceful existence, that peaceful flow, because remember, the uni everything with the universe is yes, everything. So if you're in negativity, if you're beating yourself up, or you're saying you're not worthy, that's exactly what the universe is responding to because we're co-creating at the same time, all the time. So they really, really, really want you to nurture yourself because as you do, sweet results await. Okay. So just going to pick one more card here for all of you. What was I just saying? Know your worth. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are amazing, you are beautiful, you're magnificent, you're talented. Get into the frequency of 
nurturing yourself in the energy of your worth. You are lovable. Switch all of those things I just said to, I am lovable, I am worthy. I am worthy. That is your mantra <laughs> for the month of June, okay? So I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Don't forget to click and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon. Namaste.